This is the Shiseido lip liner that I have on my lips. This is all I have on my lips. No lipstick. It's so creamy. It's like just glides on. Mm. And then you can just mix it like that. And this is what it looks like. It's a very vibrant red. I did outline it slightly with a darker color to give the Chola effect because we like that. Cholas get down on their makeup. Don't hate. Anyways, so they, it's called the Perfect Smoothing Lip Liner. I can't, this, I sharpened the color off. So I have to tell you what the color is later. But all of their lip liners are very creamy and smoothing and, and they feel good on the lips. And what's nice is yeah. on the other end, they have um, a little brush so you can blend it out and be more precise with your application. I love that there's a lip brush incorporated. So here's the three glosses that I have. I know these probably look super boring to you, but I love them and I don't care what you think. Just kidding. Um, this is YE505. I'm trying to get the camera to capture the shimmer that it has. It has like a really nice focus. See that shimmer? Oh, pretty. And honestly, this is just clear. Here's what I love about these lip glosses. First of all, they are super moisturizing. Best of all, so you can even see it, there you go. They're not sticky. So you're not gonna have that sticky mouth feeling. I love like, the look of lip gloss, I hate the feel of it. So I try to get non-sticky lip glosses. This is BE201. This is just a really pretty, subtly shimmery nude. I always wear this with the nude lip liner. I always wear this with the nude lip liner, but this is a great topper for anything, like, because it's clear. Um, and then this is just a creamy nude. It's fine by itself, but for me, I have a lot of uh, color in my lips, so I need something, a little something, something extra. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? It's really creamy, creamy nude. And so I'll do it like with Mac Strip Down Lip Liner. I like it with that. And then this one is my favorite. This is BR302. Look at the shimmer in this. Beautiful, right? And this is just a sheer brown. So you can see the skin. I'm going to put it right next to the red lip liner. And there it is. So you can see the skin through all of these lip glosses. They're very sheer. Uh, the nude one is a little less sheer, actually. But this one, I love to wear just by itself on my lips. And I have like this really pretty brownie, shimmery lip. I do wear it with a nude lip liner too, like it like that. Um, but these are just pure moisture, no stickiness. I love the way they feel and the way they wear. So those are the three Shiseido lip glosses that I have. Now we're gonna go into, which ones will we do? Let's do the Shimmery Rouge. Shimmering Rouge, I have four of them here. The problem is two of them I think are almost identical in color, but the packaging looks like this. They're kind of long and skinny. And they have like a skinny thingamajig. They're very hydrating, but these are more sheer and they have a shimmer to them. So these are called Shimmering Rouge. Um, this one is RD406. I was obsessed with these. Look how pretty that is. I was obsessed with these last spring and summer. And I would wear them by themselves or with a lip liner, even better. Honey, don't even trip. That one's very pinky, I love. This one's RD320. This one's a little bit deeper in color. It's not as bright. So there's that one, very pretty. And they look very juicy on. It's almost like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one because they look very, like you put a little touch of lip gloss. This one is OR405. So I have, yeah. This one is a little bit more orangey, hence the OR name. So that's this one here. See that? And they just feel so nice and smooth and they have that shimmer without feeling the grit of a, gl of a glitter. Because it's not glitter, it's, it's a subtle shimmer. It gives you that luminosity. Um, they feel really good on the lips. And then the last Shimmering Rouge one I have is RS310. And I'll put that one on the very end here. 
And see, the thing, yeah, these two are, look very similar to me, but I just really like the colors. And they're all kind of in the same family as what I ended up getting, but they're all different. What's nice is that I like to mix and match my lipsticks with my lip liner, so you can completely transform one of these because they are so sheer um, and just get a really good luscious full pouty effect because they have that that shimmer in them and they also look kind of glossy they have a gloss and a sheen let me say sheen sheen's better sheen's a better word see that that high shine oh so pretty very pretty okay so that's the shimmering rouge and these are the taller skinnier ones like i said like the next i'm going to show you the um perfect rouge just like a shorter fatter these are exciting oh wait a minute do I only have two perfect rouge? What the heck? I guess I do. So this is the newest one I just got. It is RD142. And I love me some corally colors. And look. Just kidding. Look at how pretty it says Shiseido on it. It has a little stamp. Will that show up? No. That's not focusing. Huh. Anyways, there's like a little, it says Ginza Tokyo Shiseido stamped in the lipstick. Because it started in Ginza Tokyo. I don't even want to use this right now. I don't even want to swatch it for you. It's so pretty. I want to chew it. <clears throat> okay. Pretty color. This is from the newest um, Perfect Rouge color collection. I can't wait to see what they come out for with in spring. And I'm going to have better pictures of swatches with the actual lipstick on my blog. So if you're interested in that, go there. And if you're not, then don't. Look at how shimmery that is. This is the creamiest, most luxurious lipstick ever. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up what it is true to color, but it's a very... It's almost like a rosy pink with a hint of coral. It's a crazy color. It's crazy. It's nuts. I like it. It's really pretty to me. So, I don't remember if this is the one I got for my mom or not. But I do know that I've been wanting this color for a long time. And I finally got it. Um, and again, it's RD142. What I like about the Perfect, the Perfect Rouge is actually my favorite formula of Shiseido lipstick because it's very creamy and sumptuous, luscious. And I want to put it on my lips. I wonder if it would look funny if I have, because I have this red lipstick on. Let me see. It feels so good and it has like a nice shine. Mmm. It's very moisturizing. And it has that. Mm, I don't know if you can see. Mm, probably not. It just has a subtle sheen to it. It's just so pretty. Look at that. Oh. Pretty. I have one more Perfect Rouge lipstick to show you. This is just a nude. And I don't want to say just a nude because it's a fabulous nude. In my opinion, it's different than any nude that I have. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, you're so cute. Ugh. Um. Yes, 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 yes. You look so cute. Okay, this is BE310. This one is a very brownie nude. This nude is unlike any other nude that I have because the nudes that I have are very, like, more white. This one has a lot of color, but it's probably not for everyone because you have to work with it. Like I use a, a very nude brow, brownie nude lip liner with it. It's almost like a putty brownie clay color. Putty. And by clay, I mean like pottery clay. Like it's just so luscious and shimmer. See how shiny they are? They're so moisturizing. I'm telling you, they feel so good. Mm. They feel really good on the lips. I love them. Ooh, gross. 
So yeah, this <laughs> is 320. And then this is what the lipsticks are shaped like. Do you see how it has like a... You okay, bug? Don't, don't put that in your mouth if you're going to choke on it. <laughs> a little faker. These I'm embarrassed to show you because they're all dirty and I didn't clean them up. I should have, but I didn't, so deal. These are, what are these called? I forgot. Lacquer Rouge. These are like a cream lipstick, okay? And I have three of them. They're a liquid lip color. And these twist like this, and then they're like, like that. And it has a little doe foot applicator. And this one is RD305. This one's like a mauve pink. And, oh, these are freaking awesome. I love them. I will be honest and say that if you don't line your lips really well, they will feather out and bleed out. But this one is, look at that shine, that luxurious color. That color is so pretty, isn't it? So there's that one. That's RD305. This one is super fun. This is R, what is it? RS404. Check that out, baby. I'm going to put it right next to the other one. And it's very opaque, creamy, liquid lipstick. Okay, so it's like a gloss and a lipstick in one. Like I said, I'll have better swatches and pictures on my blog. I have to do this really fast because my camera just keeps messing up and I have a babe and all this stuff's going on. It's crazy. And then this is the RD607, which is the red color. And this is like a rich. Tell me, buddy. Tell me, gorgeous son. Look at that rich red. It's like a, almost like a deep blood red, like a, mm. And I'll show you in correlation with the lip liner that I was wearing earlier before I topped it off with this. That's the red liquid lipstick, and then this is the red lip liner with it. Do you see how much brighter that one is to that one? So this is a very bright red, and that one's a deep red. So those are the Lacquer Rouge. Now this is my favorite. I lost the lid to it, so I'm not going to show you all the packaging. And then my son got a hold of it and like literally chewed a chunk out of the tip. This is one of my favorite colors. This is RS320. Check this color out. It's like a purpley fuchsia. So pretty. Okay, that's it for my spiel. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. This video was crazy.